Hey Brahmas, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the database called Psych Articles to look for empirical research. Starting in the library's homepage, we're going to click on databases A through Z because we're looking for one individual database and not one search which looks across all of them. Once we open the full list of all of our databases, we can click on subjects. And since we're doing research for a psychology class, it would help us to click on the tag psychology to see the best databases that focus on psychology research. Now, psych articles happens to be here as one of the best bets. And when you click on it from our website, our site should ask you for your student ID number as your username and your passcode is your birth date without the year, four digits. So this is the portal of psych articles and you don't really need to mess around with the settings in the bottom. The power really comes from your keywords. Now I'm just going to continue the example from this tutorial in which we're focusing on two concepts, racism and Latinos, and we're going to click search. And if we find more specific keywords as we're looking through the research, we can always go back to the search bar and play with the combination of keywords. But for now, we're just trying to see how this database works. Now, since we are looking for original research, which usually means empirical research, this EBSCO database has on the left hand side a set of tools that we can use. So I'm going to scroll down a bit and I'm going to click on the section that says methodology. And then I'm going to click on the option that reads empirical study because empirical studies usually mean original research in the field of psychology. So now that I've done that, I'm guaranteed that most of these articles are going to be displaying a methodology of empirical study. And if we wanted to filter our results even more, you can go to the publication date and maybe type um, 2010 to only look at the research in the last 10 years, so nothing published before 2010. And this is very important in science research. That said, most of the articles that we're going to see are going to be coming from academic journals, which means they're bound to be peer reviewed. Now your job is to start scrolling down the list of articles to find the ones that match your research question the best. So let's say that you were intrigued by this one and I'm going to click on the title of that article. In psych articles, this database will show me a record of that source and I can see that it was published in an academic journal right by that little icon. And if I were to have clicked on the PDF icon, that would have pulled up the complete article in its PDF format. But since I click on the title, I'm opening up the record of this article. And I can see that it has five authors. It was published in the Journal of Latinx Psychology in 2012. I can see some of the keywords that they have identified and maybe this area can help you brainstorm about the focus of your research question. You usually see the abstract which is supposed to summarize the point of the article and subjects are also very helpful because sometimes they allow you to see how the databases are cataloging this type of research. So for example, they're using the tag Latinos slash Latinas. Um, and then when it comes to the citation later on, most peer reviewed articles will end with a DOI or a digital object identifier, 
which you can find right here. So once again, if I want to open the complete article, I would click on the PDF icon so that I can start skimming through the beginning or the end to see how useful this article will be in my research paper. And maybe I will cite it or maybe I won't. So we're seeing the abstract once again, the introduction, and we're also looking for the heading that says method or methodology, because this heading assures you that this is a peer-reviewed article with empirical research. So the method section will tell you how the researchers designed their research and, and what kind of methods they use to, to conduct um, the, their exploration and, and data gathering. Now, if you like this article and you want to read it later, you can always click on the email button on the right hand side. You should choose APA as the citation so that this database can send you a full text citation of this article, which is not always 100% correct, but it's uh, at least you can start off with that. And let's go back to our results. So you can email yourself as many articles as you wish, but ultimately you're the one who's going to be reading them and using them in your research paper. So you do want to make sure that the ones that you pick are closely related to your research question. So we're, we came back to our results and I wanted to show you this tool that AP um, Psych Articles contains. So at the top horizontal um, blue bar, there's a APA thesaurus of index terms. So this is really useful if you are struggling to figure out what are the best keywords for your research topics. So let's say that we didn't know how to call um, Latinos. We don't know if Latinos is the best keyword. So we're going to type that and click browse. Not in the very top search bar in, in the second one right here. Uh, and so in this thesaurus, we're going to see the official subject headings that the field of psychology uses to catalog the research. So if we, if we see Latinos slash Latinas, and then underneath that, we see Latinx use the previous one. So that's the more official heading. And if we click on it, we can see that there are variations of this subject heading, such as racial and ethnic groups, Mexican-Americans, if we wanted to be more specific, or we can even select minority groups and, and pick something even more specific, such as Cuban-Americans, et cetera. Now, let's say that you did want to keep just Latinos, Latinas. So we're going to select that, and then we're going to add it to our keyword combination at the top. So now you see this thing that starts with DE, which implies that that's a subject heading. But we have other concepts in our research question, right? So the other one was that of racism. So I'm going to make sure that I'm using the best keywords for these concepts. So with racism, I can see it right here in blue, which means that I can click on it and expand upon this concept. So under racism, there's other synonymous terms that we could use, such as anti-Semitism, hate crimes, implicit bias, social discrimination, um, prejudice, intersectionality. So you could get more specific than just racism. But let's say that you were interested in racism, but also social discrimination. So we clicked on those two subjects, and then we're going to keep this tag that says or, which means that you're going to look for either the term racism or 
social discrimination. Because to you, either one would work. And this helps you like broaden the, the concept of racism in your keywords. So now we're going to click on add. And this is going to add those two subject headings to the very first one of Latinos and Latinas. So now you can see this keyword combination, which does looks a little um, code-like, but this just means that if we click search, Psych Articles is going to pull up any sources that are tagged under the subject headings of Latinos and Latinas, and a subject heading of either racism or social discrimination. So if we click on search, the results that are going to come up are guaranteed to be under those subject headings. So this can be very useful if you are dealing with a research question in which your concepts are kind of very specific and you want to make sure that you're using the official subjects in the field of psychology. So if you have any questions about this, please contact a librarian either via chat on our website or you can make a video appointment.